In 2009, I was diagnosed with a medical condition called postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, which is abbreviated as POTS. In a nutshell, having POTS means my heart rate increases significantly whenever I stand up. After living 15 years with this medical condition, here are 10 things I did which have improved my symptoms. I am very grateful. One of the first treatments my doctor offered me was compression stockings. The stockings prevent blood from pooling in my legs. The compression I wear is 30 to 40 millimeters of mercury. Moreover, I wear waist-high compression stockings to prevent blood from pooling in my abdomen. When I do not wear compression stockings, my heart rate becomes extremely fast and I feel as though I'm going to pass out. Supplements have made a big difference in my POTS symptoms. I take a vitamin B complex and CoQ10 to help with my energy levels. Also, I take magnesium to help with muscle cramps. For a more complete list on the supplements I use, please see the following video, POTS, 10 Natural Remedies for Symptom Relief. The first year I had POTS, I struggled to manage my symptoms. However, once I started reading about how food can influence a person's heart rate and blood pressure, I started eating differently. I began making all my food from fresh produce. I avoid all packaged food as they may contain many additives. These substances can dramatically decrease a person's blood pressure and can lead to severe POTS symptoms. I also do not eat at restaurants because many eateries use packaged food. When I first was diagnosed with POTS, it seemed every day was a bad day. My heart rate seemed as though it would randomly increase. I then began keeping a journal of everything I ate. I also took my heart rate and blood pressure right after I ate, as well as at intervals of one, two, and three hours after eating. I soon discovered patterns. For example, I found out I have an intolerance to almonds. Drinking almond milk dramatically decreases my blood pressure, which in turn makes my pot symptoms worse. Once I sorted out my body's reactions to eating food, I was able to select foods which did not aggravate my symptoms. A second recommendation my doctor gave me was to increase my salt intake. I achieve this by adding salt to almost everything I eat. I also make homemade soup which has a lot of salt in it. I eat the soup every morning for breakfast. Drinking lots of fluids has been vital to managing my symptoms. One thing I learned was to not drink plain water. Instead, I drink mineral water or water mixed with salt. Also, I make homemade tomato juice and vegetable juice. To the homemade juices, I add lots of salt. When I'm having a bad pox day, or if I'm feeling sick and unable to drink a lot, I drink pickle juice. Homemade pickle juice has a lot of salt in it. Drinking a small amount can add a lot of salt to your diet and can help with symptoms. Intravenous fluids can quickly change my day from being a really bad day to being a good day. I have not been able to get IV fluids approved through my insurance company. However, in 2021, I started using IV nutrition called TPN. With this treatment, I receive almost 2 liters of IV fluids daily. My heart rate has significantly decreased since starting TPN and receiving IV fluids. For most of my life, I would always bathe in the morning. However, after getting POTS, I discovered if I shower in the morning, I would be too tired to do anything for the rest of the day. I then started showering at night. When I get tired from showering, I can go straight to bed and recover while I sleep. Additionally, I no longer shower every day. 
For more tips about showering with POTS, please see the video How to Shower with Postural Orthostatic Tachycardia Syndrome. My heart rate is extremely fast in the morning. It takes me until 11 a.m. before my heart calms down enough to safely leave my bed. Additionally, if I leave my home before noon, my body reacts negatively to the stress. For this reason, I try to schedule all my activities in the afternoon or evening. If I have to have an early morning test or surgery, I will often stay up all night. When I force myself to stay awake all night, my body becomes confused. I will be extremely tired in the morning and my heart will not beat as fast as what it usually does. Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Bye-bye.